right. What episode is this? 33. Fuck. Ooh. Oh, really? Ooh. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. This is Just Kidding. This is, I guess, episode 33 for when I just found out from right now. Oh. How, how stupid is that? <laughs> why we, why have we done 33 of this shit? I have no fucking clue. We must be bored. Do thank I you. Hey, <laughs> and to that, thank you to all the idiots who are listening out there. We love you guys. Thank you, idiots. You. Thank you. I don't know how many we got now, Lalo. How many 36. idiots? How many? 36. <laughs> Didn't we lose like three? Shit. Where the fuck are the other three assholes? Didn't we have 39? They, it was like 46 last week. <laughs> they got, they got, We're losing people. They got themselves some education. And hold like, hold fuck on. This. How the fuck are we going down on these goddamn numbers? We're supposed to be going up. They're still the listening going, there's no porn on here. <laughs> That's how we lost them. <laughs> That's, That's how we lost it. That's how we lost 10. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Two hours later. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> there was no porn? Unsubscribe. Two hours. Wait. <laughs> He's like, I've been holding my dick for two hours and nothing. I have so, the hey, best. Thumb in the right ass and hand and dick. Come on. So I have the Vaseline right next to me ready to go. I have that Abeno ready to go, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> the warm feeling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That that Lubri Derm nigga <laughs> shit. <laughs> Anyways, and then the next one has a four logo. Wait a minute, this must be it. <laughs> this has to be it. This has, this has to, to be it. it. Just keep teasing it, dude. <laughs> hey, you got, I, we, I'm almost convinced we should change our names to the Porn Zone. <laughs> we should just be in the Porn Zone. Just kidding, the Porn Zone, dude. <laughs> the Porn Zone, just kidding. Hey, the we should have a segment. Just- Huh? Have a segment. <laughs> and this is our porn segment. <laughs> <laughs> and now back to the scheduled <laughs> conversation. What's no, what's new uh, in the world, Salo? What's new in the world of porn? Well, let me tell you. So they gaped this bitch the other day. I mean, gape. <laughs> cream pies are back, son. It's 2020. <laughs> gape cream pies? Yay! <laughs> Here we come. No pun intended. Uh, uh, anyways, so to my left here, I have uh, one of my good good friends, one of my brothers. Chris, Kana, What's up, Kana, people? we love you. God damn it. <laughs> guys, please, can you guys please say it? We do love you. We love you. <laughs> Thank up, you. Everybody? Idiots, All I haven't seen it in the comments, idiots. <laughs> you guys gotta gotta give him love. You don't understand right now. He's suffering. <laughs> you know he needs so, your love. You know what's so funny? Because uh, I think I, I took the screenshot of, and I sent it to you guys, like the number of views. You got the porn zone, the in the porn zone, and we have one that says we love Kana. It had the least amount of views. <laughs> Nobody loves Kana. Yes. You guys are fucking dicks. Yes. That's yes. where we lost most of the viewers. You guys are dicks. Yes. What the fuck, guys? You guys don't love Kana? Well, fuck you then. <laughs> I'm all giving a break from, you know, like, in the porn zone. Let's mess up. Let's move to another subject. No one cares. No views. <laughs> and the porn uh, logo. Re put the thumbnail, put the porn logo. With Chris's face, we love Chris. One thousand. <laughs> <laughs> we love Chris. Porno. One thousand. <laughs> I bet you it would get hits too. Just put your face on it. And put porn zone the whole time, dude. Damn it. And then straight in front of me, I guess, kind of, is uh, another brother of mine, Lalo. Tell the people what's up, Lalo. What's up, people? I'm just full of um, negative energy. <laughs> um, Hope to release some of the stress th- tonight. That's good, why that's this good. is good. We're to gonna me. get that out today, okay? Absolutely. <laughs> this is therapy. And directly in front of Lalo, we got the other brother out here, Juan. Brother. And a brother. <laughs> what up, everybody? Uh, also, let's. Um, I don't know. We might sound different in this podcast and stuff because we're actually recording from another location. Because somebody decided to have sex and have children. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> He's not thinking about us. He's. True. He's selfish. <laughs> However, let me just say, <laughs> let me just say, why the fuck haven't we could been coming here this whole time? It's like you perfect. fucking tell me. I I've had this place now. <laughs> you know this. I had my 420 well, we party in this fucking we back room. We didn't know if uh, it was cool. I mean, you know, absolutely. You know, stuff, you know? Absolutely. Well, Cool, we're fucking, we're fuck doing it. this. Like it. We Get might have a house too. Fuck it. We might sound better just because for the fact that the, each microphone is it's more further apart. away from each yeah. other. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't even think of that. Wait, uh, we forgot one thing. And the best of all, <laughs> not to say the least, <laughs> these fucking assholes are trying to. Oh, these, that's what I forgot. These, I should have theme music in the fucking background. <laughs> yeah, these assholes forgot about 
the person who makes the show. The show doesn't go on without Saulo, me, the oh, greatest. Say Joe, Joe, Joe who? Joe Mama. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who he said that to. <laughs> he just, he just had a catch that glared. one. He just I had just a glare. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't let this whole. <laughs> <laughs> Even Who's gonna catch one. this one? You guys You're decide. Gonna, I'm gonna talk shit to this. This mic. was your for, mama. Hey, dude. this was for all three of you, motherfuckers. <laughs> catch it. I don't give a fuck, dude. Put your glove. Hey, like like on Sandlot. Put your glove up. Yeah. I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> is this, our, this isn't our first. This isn't our first of 2020, right? <coughs> yes, it is. This no, is, is it really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh I shit, so. man. Has it? A, no. No way. No. no. Yeah, yeah, one? Oh, no, we recorded it in this, January. Uh, January 14. Yeah. That's the one I was telling you about earlier. Yeah. If Which I guys, didn't know was out because I usually get an update on my YouTube thing, but I'm definitely not. Yeah, listen unfortunately, to that one. It, it took me a while to. Well, you've uh, been busy. That's another. I've been, I've been busy. Yeah, I idiots, to. idiots. That's another one that's having sex and having children too, <laughs> dick. Yeah, yeah, well, dude. So both of these gentlemen, yeah, the dude. That should be the new slogan for latex. You know, latex. It will save your podcast. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It won't ruin the podcast. God damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> well, was, I couldn't appreciate how good that one was. We're like this close. I had to get back on. <laughs> you roll this That's fucking out. hilarious. <laughs> oh, shit. So, so you got good? me, you son of a bitch. Yeah, dude, you got me. One, so what's dude. been going on? Like, what's got you the cynic today? Like, is it? I know there's a lot of politics shit before we started reading oh, the board. On. There was a lot of politics Fuck stuff. Fuck politics. Yeah, I mean, it, it, let's not. Okay, it, you know what? This, no, you guys are on your own on this one. I ain't give a rat's ass about these stupid sons of bitches so please continue well without going into politics because we've done that plenty of times so no but chris just, wants to talk about it please well, no, no, i don't want to talk about it. i'm just curious what has got well, you just so the much. whole you know this sham of a trial impeachment which that's what it is i mean by definition a trial needs to have witnesses and evidence which was both rejected by the republicans so you can't really no, call no, it a I, trial I, that's one the other thing that's been getting me into a negative mood is just like a couple of days ago, I saw a documentary on Netflix called Pandemic, uh-huh. uh huh, which is very good. I mean, I'm pretty sure I you'll enjoy it. it. I don't watch it. I started to watch it yesterday with my boys or yeah, yesterday. But when we're over there drinking, everybody's talking. Nobody really gets to watch it. You know what I'm saying? But I have heard nothing but good things about no, it that. Is because it's one of those documentaries that you really have to sit down and listen right, to because right, there's right. just a lot of medical information sure. that. I mean, the average person can understand it if they focus. But the po- part of the, the documentary talks about how, like, the anti-vaxxers. Yeah. Which is just, it uh, blows my mind how we're go- our society is coming to the point where scientific uh, information and scientific discovery, scientific truth is becoming the new farce and Real farce is becoming the new truth. So you're you're non vaccinated? I believe in vaccinations. Yeah. Oh okay. like now that I have kids, yeah. if I knew that He's basically group- saying that it's sad that science has now become a fiction. Yeah. People see it as a fiction, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. And and it's true. I, I, I agree because, with you. Because, I totally because agree with break, you. Break that down. Break break it like the vaccination controversy down. It's it's Because there's uh, people that believe that by the fact that they they're putting chemicals, something that is was engineer yeah it's it's leading to autism the, yeah shit. which the evidence is not there mm-hmm. but just because there's been a few celebrities and I, in my personal opinion jay mccarthy jenny mccarthy which was the main one that just fucking gave it f- extra fire fuel, fire yeah um yeah. they started believing in that that the chemicals because some 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 vaccinations have a, a, a do, they do have a small amount of aluminum or all the chemicals but that's just how it is made yeah. it's like the Tuffing fact them that up. the fact that that's what i say put a little lead in your pencil go play in the mud you're fine <laughs> Dude, uh, it's, uh, it's one of don't worry I the cobra bite will only sting <laughs> i remember i remember stronger. years ago they they banned mexican candy because they found they had like copper aluminum and i'm thinking that's exactly what mexican kids are fucking strong because they've been that's right tolerant. listen listen america this is why we can swim across that goddamn river so well <laughs> motherfuckers and climb that wall so well <laughs> motherfuckers side note, just reminded me you know what i'm saying the other day i'm fucking um 
the wall they said that blew over and it yeah. fell on the Mexico side. I thought was the fucking funniest shit. I'm like, Trump, you want to see petty? Yeah. And fucking Trump <laughs> yeah. in the middle. Yeah. I'll sell this part back to you. I'm about to make <laughs> money off of your now. shit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, absolutely. You're gonna, wow, trillion dollars yeah, no, yeah. You're, gonna start, you're gonna start seeing old people just chopping into pieces and taking it to the recycling that's what plant. i'm saying <laughs> that's it's money nice. that's money dude, you talk about dude that's that irony that's to the irony. fullest yeah, dude, that's, that's irony so to the fullest funny, I swear that's like, god slapping him in the veggies so, uh, you come get don't come get your wall yeah it's on my side dude it's my it's my property and now, trust dude. and believe Trump is not allowed on that other side of the wall. So you come over here, you finna go back with some bullets in your ass. Guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, so, so, anyways, back so to the, the, the other stuff, like so that that stuff has gained me because I'm gonna I'm gonna have a child mm-hmm. and if I find out that like a school is allowing kids that haven't be taking their vaccinations, like I'll be taking my kid out of school so fast. Is that so, possible? Well, like, I mean, so that's where I'm going. No, I so don't think where, so. I I'm honestly going, don't. Hold no, up. Just based on how many would and wouldn't. Right. Wait, hold up. So this is where I'm going. On that doc- documentary, I think it's the, the fourth or fifth episode. In Oregon last year, uh, they were trying, a group of anti-vaxxers were trying to push the, the state government to allow their kids into public schools. And they're, so they're when they made, they made a bill where schools... Uh, Parents that were taking their kids to public school have to have their kids vaccinated. Have to by law. Right. Mm-hmm. It got rejected. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I can't believe we live in, in an era where you believe that it made us, that this vaccination you know why is they actually bad. They probably didn't want to do that because then people are going to theorize, oh, you see, they only give it to lower class public school. Yeah. See, that's how they control us. They're putting real shit well, in there. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. part of this fucking the hat conspiracy fucking, heads and yeah, shit. Yeah. And it's just, it, it blows my mind that, like I'm saying, scientific fact is becoming a farce. Yeah. Of and of fucking get me started. farce becomes the new truth. <laughs> Rev me up. <laughs> Going in. Yeah. <laughs> And that's just a lot, uh, all the way the spectrum, climate change, everything. Everything, just yeah. Science, just science. Dude, by, uh, you know when, what? That's what I'm saying. When did science become fiction? It's like we're going back to the era of Galileo. The, yeah. the reason why Galileo was basically in house imprisonment because he discovered that this, you know the earth was going to run the sun and mm-hmm. everyone's like that's you're crazy you're crazy. you're crazy what do you mean we're going back to that fucking era and it's I feel just, like it's a side effect of an overblown society like it's too easy to live it's a that is the internet yeah, the i was gonna say media. exactly yeah. that it's it's the side effect of social media yeah. misinformation yeah. is spreads like how fucking... many times you how many times now i don't have social media you guys know this i've mm. got i haven't had social media in years right but i've heard one too many people now i'm gonna use this as a perfect example for this that nipsey hustle thing right when yeah. when when that what, what is that I, <laughs> so it's a rapper who <laughs> passed away famous rapper they got well, yeah, and see, here's it. the thing. How famous, right? Because I never heard of him. Yeah, now, granted, that. granted, I'm not a big, I'm not into that scene much, but I know somewhat, right? But, and, and, and nothing, I, you know what? That it's, the, you know, it's not a good thing that would happen to him, right? But what I didn't like about that was I had all these people all of a sudden coming up to me here in the Bay or where I, where I work or whatever telling me, oh, I feel so bad for this guy, this Nipsey Hussle guy and this and that. And all of a sudden, there are all these fans and, and people that, that try to educate me, right, initially on who he was and what he did. Now, for the for the most part, I believe some of these people because I've never heard of them. So I was like, well, damn, maybe he was. And then I started finding out where they got their information from was social media. And half of the information was completely well, everybody gets fucking. Famous now, but dude. what I'm saying, though, is that's the shit that I'm talking about. Like, the, they didn't. They. It's messed up because they try to give him credit after he died, and it was just because somebody put it on social media. It wasn't like anybody never really followed him, and when he was alive, nobody, you know what I'm saying? And so he passes away now. Everybody, that's death, the social death, media. Death lifts that's the you social up to media the now. Highest highs of regards and stuff. Yeah, like, dude, it's crazy yeah, to me. And just, I and I was sitting there like, I no, I don't know who that. I don't know who that guy is. I never knew that he did anything. Yeah, yeah. And everybody's trying to sit there that who's never talked about this gentleman ever in their lives. All of a sudden, because maybe a few hundred people posted it that probably didn't know him, and it blew up. And then it's like they're trying to, oh, you know, he was doing this and for the cause. 
what, first of all, when the fuck did you listen to this guy? When the fuck did I ever hear you talk to me about this person? Yeah. You, this is the first time I hear you talk, and, and you're only telling you me because he passed wagon. away. That's messed up. Yeah. So that's. But you know what? I, I was the same as like I never. I honestly hadn't heard of him. Yeah, me so neither. I, I still don't know who you're talking like, about. He, I, I go back to his shows like he did work with like some pretty big names sure. and stuff. You but know, like, but I, did so you I know? Didn't, he didn't come on. I didn't. Exactly. On, no. Maybe and maybe because we might not be in that scene. Right, we don't listen to that type of music normally. But at the end of the day, it's like that's the shit that I'm talking about. The social media, it's like people, and then and then people just started talking about him. Like, I I even heard some people make up things about him, and I was just like, bro, I don't I don't know much about him, but I've never heard that crazy talk but, you're but talking it's about. It's crazy to you that it. it He's like put up on this like yeah, shit. it really is. It like, really he is. He was put oh on and it, and it, no, and what's even worse is that it was only put there because the man passed away where were you all when he was alive really trying to make a difference no you have to wait for something on social media to happen let me, let me that's sad you, let dude me that's sad one thing that i was like okay he got killed by mm -hmm. another gang member another crip by the way i guess he i think he was a, i think yeah he was I a think big so, time yeah. crip another crip okay so if you don't know the situation with nipsey hustle he was he had a he had a store and um, he had a store in L.A. Like, the, the, the big thing with him was, like, okay, yeah, he made it in rap and stuff. And he came back and he tries to get back to the community. He's actually right. trying to teach uh, young black people how to um, hustle. Like, how to, like, um, invest in your community. Okay. Which is great. It's yeah. exactly what you want, dude, you know? Right, exactly. And then, and then like, so he, people, be, that's why when he died, it was a big deal. Because people were like, dude, he was doing good for his community. And it just so happens that he got into, from what I understand, he was in front of a store. There was a guy that came that he knew of. I think he was from another set or something. He fucking was like, get out of here. Like, I guess that guy had been, like, accused of snitching or some shit like that. That nobody, like, he's known to not be, you know, cool with everybody. And so fucking Nipsey House tells him to go to get the fuck out of his property, of his store. He's, like, in front of his store. Guy comes back around the building, comes back and fucking kills him right there. Just shoots him down. Yeah. You know, it became a big old thing and stuff because um, the guy was on the run. And then everybody was like, fuck this guy. He killed Nipsey and this shit. Yeah, fuck this guy. And so he got arrested. And now he's 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 docked up now. Shit. Yeah, obviously. But it's just like, you I know, like so I, that, I think it's just, on. it's so, nobody. So yeah. that killed him, right? His own yeah. being a gangster killed him. And stuff, yeah. Right? Yeah. And he was like, oh, yeah. And not let you everybody get together and this and that. And it's like Russell Westbrook scores a, twin, a triple double, 20-20-20. To honor the 60 Crips. And it's like the very thing that killed him. You're like, oh, you know, that's pretty much respect. But that's the whole thing with social media. It's yeah. making, it's putting people on a, a pedestal yeah. that don't deserve it. You got I, people out there. And, and, yeah, maybe, you know, he was doing some great stuff. Yeah. But it was the stuff that he was involved with that ultimately came back to haunt him. Yeah. Right, right, right. And it's one right. of those things that like, do you really want to put somebody on the pedestal yeah, great that he got out of it and he was doing some, something great. But there's so many people out there who right. have a that, perfect... That may deserve it. I, yeah. I may feel... And again, no disrespect to a man that passed away. But there is some people out there who may deserve it more, right? But because somebody... Just social media blew it up. It's like, why aren't you paying attention to the other stuff that really... The only reason I the Kardashians are matters, still relevant know? right now is of, because of social media. Yeah. yeah oh, if, the, if the Kardashian had come... Like, a, a decade before, they would have faded away so fast. Oh, absolutely. Well, social media just expedites everything at a rate that I don't think culture is prepared to, like, know how to deal with. Because, honestly, like, our generation, we grew up, everybody was like, no TV, kill the TV. That's going to rot everybody's brain, right? Now, Which it everybody did. Everybody has a TV in their pocket. Like, yeah. You're, yeah. And a TV that connects you to everybody else in the yeah. world. It's changing culture. And it's just kind of like... These are examples of that. Like, what do young people have? Hey, but then again, did you guys just maybe stop to think for a second that maybe we're just fucking old, and we we're, and I, I and it's and that. it's and, and <laughs> like think about it, right? No, On the other side there, of it, it's just like maybe we're just older, and it's there some, is it's, something to say. And I, dude, there, believe me, there are because I guarantee you, a couple of these kids at work that were telling me about it, they're like, well, you're just you don't even like a, a lot of them are like, do you have social media? It's like. No, not really. Well, you know, how would you know? You're not even like you're. It's past your time. Like it's, like like saying, "Hey, fucking old man," you know. And at the no. same time, I'm sitting here like, I get it. Maybe I am the old man. Shit. No, you there, know there, what? there are some shit. Go ahead. Today, when I was take, when I got home from work and I was taking a piss, I was thinking exactly that. Like maybe 
I'm just I'm, maybe I'm, I'm the old, problem. I, maybe I'm getting old, you know, because yeah. everybody, if we all we're over that right, right. Part of that influences our lives. Yeah, we we got it. things to worry about. We we're gonna have kids. We're you know whatever. We Don't. we can't think of this stuff. But like as for he me, he looks at you and says, "We're gonna have kids." He looks at me and says, "Whatever." <laughs> 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 Worthless crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ah, never mind. <laughs> No, but it's one of those things where like we got other and things do to worry about. Whatever it is you do, and fuck <laughs> yourself and uh, all Chris, that shit. Whatever your hey, name no, is, pass you know it along, what? kid. Hey, <laughs> believe me, the, believe me. There's sometimes the stuff where I like I, you know, I watch YouTube and stuff, and I, you know, I'll see like what's popular and shit. And some there are some things like really, bro. Yeah. Really? No, no, no. Like, for real, this is fucking popular. Like, fuck, what the fuck, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and but whatever. I that's I keep my thoughts to myself and shit. But the only thing that gets me with this whole social media and mm-hmm. stuff, and you, like you said, Chris. We have phones in our pockets is when i see younger people like especially like like say you know, it's like in like retail or customer service and even people younger people that i have worked with before in the past and stuff you know they have no real world skills they don't know oh, how to read not. a room like they don't know how to read a room they they couldn't they and it's it's sad you know what i mean because like sometimes i go and what do they can't do as tell? soon as as soon can't as they can't read the room what do they do now? get on their fucking phones yeah, dude and it's just like can't you tell what's going on here like, like evolution- this isn't this isn't you're not you're not a, behaving in a social manner yeah. right i just now. i just I don't, don't like, want hey I think, I, guys i just don't want to be old i think of That's darwinism I, think. I just don't want to be old i think Fuck. Of, i think of darwinism where it says the survival of the fittest and now it's the opposite is the survival who's more popular yeah, but which th- tends to be you're just fucking stupid and, like, and so to like, think and to think who are the alphas these days is crazy to me and what i mean by alphas is like the the the, the people that run it the, exactly like we were just talking about the Kardashian. like those those girls those women they have so no experience, skill yeah. what so fucking ever nothing they're Influence. they're dumber than my fucking left toe like straight out and but yet they're running this bitch. Yeah. They ain't. They. You think they're hungry? I'm hungry about four, or five times a week because I'm broke as shit, <laughs> and I am ten times smart. Obviously, maybe not, right? Because I'm broke as shit. But these bitches. I mean, I. It just kills me. <laughs> it kills me. I'm just sitting there like, no, yo, yeah. yo trabajando como burro, and these bitches over here just walk down the street, shake the fat ass, which I love, and but and they and they money. Right, yeah. and it's crazy. But, yeah, like I've heard people say, "Oh, uh, um, Kurt, what Kurt, uh, like have you have you heard what the last the Kylie Jenner said or mm-hmm. or the kind of why the fuck would I give a rat's ass what those I bitches got to say? Believe like, who the fuck are they? I cannot believe some, the the amount of followers yeah they have. it's it, it, dude they, they have more like okay Kobe, dude they have Kobe more died? followers that some countries have as, as yes. citizens mm-hmm. yes yeah yes mm-hmm. dude kim kardashian has something like 190 million followers the other day when kobe died and the world was talking about it i was like i want to see how many people the lake follow the lakers it was like 11 million yeah dude <laughs> fucking but you know why? I cannot believe Cause, that. Because you know, that bitch has insane. the fattest, juiciest ass you want to sink your and teeth so, into. The, the other thing that I've, That's I've been why. thinking about, now that I'm I'm having a daughter, is one of those things like, mm. what mm. What are they going to be looking up to? It's just no, like, yeah. it's, it's, I've that had this fat, conversation that fat, before. That, yeah. that, that, that fat booty bitch. I just... <laughs> It's un- you're, yeah, and it's also, unfortunate, also, but that's exactly the fact, it. There has been too that people that try to go viral and stuff. There's been cases where um, like YouTubers and stuff try stunts, and one guy, one guy was got shot. He got killed and stuff because him and his girlfriend were trying to do like the stunt on YouTube just to be viral, and they so, killed himself. And I, so, I wasn't too upset about. It. I was like so natural like today, selection. So to, exactly today, I, uh, I think on Yahoo News or some, yeah. th- I, there were there was an article talking about like kids that are going too far and what your parents do. And the first my because today I've been Ooh. feeling feeling really cynical. I just straight up comment, you know, like let those fucking just kill themselves doing stupid sun, stunts. <laughs> Let's get rid of dumbass people. But that was just me feeling <laughs> hey, cynical today. Hey, oh God hey, forbid. Hey. And Jesus loves y'all. Hey. hey man, there's, hey man. There's just, I mean, when you, I think there's a trickle of stuff going on and stuff, right? For example, and I don't agree with this. A lot of people are overprotective. They don't want to let their kids go outside. They put them on devices. So of course you're hooking them up to this 
like monster dumpster fire. and then it's just that and then you can't get them out and stuff because nowadays like kids it they, they they can't go outside and play and that's where you get that's where we used to get creative fucking skills and i don't have a ball let's go play let's go make up a game fuck yeah. it let's go do this let's i mean go do that. It, so i was listen, dude, people it's, are it's, not allowed to do that anymore dude it's, and it it's sucks kinda, because it's kind of ironic because parents are protecting their kids from the outside world so staying mm-hmm. in stay indoors mm-hmm. get on the computer which which actually reaches until, out until, way until, further which is actually yeah. oh yeah dangerous. absolutely which which quickly can you can talk to a fucking pedophile and yeah. you know what i'm saying like yeah. it, it's but I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. You're about to have children, and I have nieces and nephews. Mm-hmm. I don't want them going further than that fucking fence of mine. I ain't lying because, yes, I would love them to understand and get to know the outside world the way I did, right? But let's be realistic. Y'all about to have two daughters. I mean, y'all each are gonna have a girl. Wait, what? I'm having one. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't know that yet because sometimes it comes with a surprise. Anyways, what are Let's be realistic. You're going to let your daughter go out like that? Like play outside? I, I, like the way your parents let you all, do it? First of all, uh, not the way my parents did. Well, honestly, maybe that just depends on what, what people I get it. She's us. a girl, so you might have to. No, no, no. Right? Because, but because our, our particular. still want the socialization. Our, our particular setup and stuff, uh, the condos where we live in have like two little play, three little playgrounds. So I would take her out there and stuff. Yeah, for sure. And stuff. And, and like we have this grass. We happen to live at the edge of the complex. So we have this grassy area. And we have a neighbor right now that just had a newborn and just had a or has like an 18 month old, like a two year old. And uh, we're very cool with them. So if they stick around like, yeah, I would like to have our kids. The fuck was that? I would I love to go back here. Guys, sorry. I would love to have our kids like um, like, you know, socialize and hang out and play. You know what I mean? Plus, obviously, I'm going to bring her around your daughter, Lalo, and stuff, and hopefully they can fucking play and, you know, go do something. Go fucking Beat the <laughs> shit out of each other. <laughs> yeah. Jiu Jitsu. Hold on, dude. Hey, man. Hey, that's. Well, we don't want you on here anyway. No. <laughs> oh, is it off? Is it off? What happened? Look at this. No, no, it's, it's, but it's picking up every that's little thing. Uh, oh, okay. Fuck! Right. Let me get a beer. I don't know where that was. <laughs> 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 oh, so I'm 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 not gonna put this on the pocket, but so when I was uh, uploading the first half, at the end I put the little technical music. Uh huh. I, it got flagged because of copyrights. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you, you so we're getting demonetized you, you from too, all the one cent we made. I know, like, we're making money, right? <laughs> so so did it get taken down or it's no, just flagged? Fractions. Our fractions. No, so what happens... Fractions of a cent. So what happens... <laughs> if we start making money out of that episode, yeah. then one, we, we, we got to pay royalties. Okay. Or the author of that musical tone... Can sue us can request for our uh stuff to get brought down yeah oh, yeah okay. removed but not so what, what what got flagged what got the da, technical da, da, music da, da, song da, da, da. really yeah apparently it's copyrighted chris put that in the thing and no i don't want another one <laughs> all right we're good now oh so uh yeah depending on how many neighbors we have around there and stuff i try to encourage stuff like you know um yeah let's go outside and stuff especially with the dogs and stuff it gets them all tired and stuff you know but um so I was having this very discussion with a coworker of mine and stuff, and she was like, we're sitting here talking about devices and kids and stuff. And she's like, dude, she goes, my daughter fiends to get home. It's like, I got yeah. to home and I got to fucking get on the phone. And, you know, she's like, and she was like, and I got, she's like, so I've been limiting her and stuff. And I was like, well, that is your fault. You know, like, go take them to the park or something, you know, like spend time with them outside and shit. You know what I mean? And then she was like, she said that she lives like in front of a school. And she's like, there's no kids out there. And she's like, but when it's 4th of July, you see a fucking mountain of kids. You guys all live here? And I'm like, why don't you use social media to your advantage? Get on the Nextdoor app and have a play date with other moms and stuff. Hey, let's just meet here at the park and, like, play. I know I'm I'm being very, like, oh, fucking Juan, you're so naive, you know? Well, no, but that's honestly, ultimately, the responsibility of raising the child falls upon the household and the people in that household. I know, Lalo, you're saying you're very cynical about the external things that are happening in the world. But, you know, I'm over here watching you like I'm, I'm it bums me out to hear like one of the more optimistic people when I remember us in high school. 
You were the like fucking like <laughs> change the world and government. Let's just say and now the, you're like, more people the, fucking sucks. Hey, the, the, look, I'm, I'm, the look he's giving you just shut the fuck shut up. <laughs> Chris, you're I'd about to fucking this, die. But, but I'm saying no. I mean, I'll, get, I'll, I'll I, I know I'll get over it. It's just shit. all these stuff that just speak. has happened in this it's last couple of weeks. Just it just got like, all it all bunched up because that's part of the other thing is like. You know, as much as I I try not to fall into the whole social media black hole of comparing yourself to others. Yeah. Okay, maybe I'm not comparing to people on Instagram. I could care less. I'm not comparing myself to nobody on Facebook. That's fucking. But I do. I I also have LinkedIn. People in the professional field and stuff. And I see these people who are like posting like my first day at Disney Studios, my first day here, or promotion here, and I'm just like. God damn it, dude. So yeah, that that also... I it, see how... I mean, I get that because it's like social media ultimately makes us present the best of ourselves but not tell us about the worst. Lalo. Everybody watching. You and Disney. That. You and Walt. Like that shit. You guys like, are going to become best friends. Just about, to say, <laughs> just about to say, Not like you'd want to work there anyway. But, but, it's but like no. You, only but hear about about the you and Walt like this, Ida. No, but you only hear about the best of most of these people because their legacy, like you were saying, Nipsey Hustle. It's like you only hear about the best yep. after the fact post mortem. Yeah, exactly. You don't hear about who they are. Walt Disney apparently was a raging fucking racist and all this. Sure, like, sure. Uh, ties to Nazism. So it's like, yeah. who knows really? <laughs> like, you don't really need that in your life. But uh, what I wanted to say initially was like, because back to what Juan was saying, it's like ultimately we're the ones responsible for the the outcomes for like our household. Like that's all we really have sovereignty over anyway. So like our parents when they had us, what was the thing that they were fearing is like, you know, what was the technology at the time? Fucking like a cassette tape and a VHS. We're over here arguing about essentially what's going to be the cassette tape and VHS for our children. Yeah, like, absolutely. We're talking about social media being this bad thing. A hundred percent. We know that Steve Jobs said the same thing. The guy who invented it didn't want his kids to have it, but we have that is no true. predictor. We have no predictor for what the future version of what our kids are going to have to like experience. Like, what is that fucking thing going to look like? We talk about social media because we have it now. But that's the same as our parents arguing about cassette tapes are going to ruin our children. Like, we have no <laughs> MTV clue. is the end we of the no world. Clue what MTV like. doesn't <laughs> even fucking do what it's supposed to do anymore. Video's, so, killing, the, <laughs> video's killing the radio. The radio yeah. star, yeah. <laughs> but that, we're going to sound like that. <laughs> well, so it's essentially... It's straight up. <laughs> but what do, we, what do we have personal sovereignty over? Ourselves and our own household. So it's like, I'm sorry you're feeling all cynical. It's like, because you're one of these guys that I've always known is like, you know, what you do matters and affects change. No, like, I know. It it's, it's like, like, I hope like, Lalo gets a gun and shoots you in the face. <laughs> That's all I hope for. No, like I said, it, <laughs> How dare you? How fucking dare you, you piece of shit, Connor? I'm not, I don't want to disvalidate your cynicism. That's I've exactly what my, the fuck you're I've doing. I've lived that with my whole life. I want to see you because you got the Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the shield. Yeah, I, feel, hey, I feel inspired by you right <laughs> now, dude. He's Fuck, come on. Sitting in a fucking do you know what Captain, <laughs> Hey, Chris, do you know what the fuck you're wearing? You're a disgrace to that right now, god damn it. <laughs> it's actually Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> He got it. So I'm a disgrace yeah, to the Puerto that. Ricans? Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, I'm a disgrace to the Cuban flag? What the fuck? Uh, all right. This is, this, this, no, no, this like, is Chad, mom. motherfucker. Hey, this is for Chad, motherfucker. What you talking, Captain America? <laughs> fuck Captain America. It's all this about is Chad, Chad motherfucker. Chad. This <laughs> Cuban flag. I looked at you like there was somebody behind us. What the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> hey, this is the Cuban I'm, flag, I'm, man, for Chang. Yeah, like, damn. This is exactly what I thought. You are part of the problem. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> <laughs> you Disney loving Nazi <laughs> son of a pretty bitch. Much. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> hey, so next week or in two weeks, Chris will not be with us. Uh, yeah. He's been canceled think, out. Yeah. No, but I mean, I just, I just need. We've to, had a unanimous vote. What, what was happening is that. I, I have I have been able to express this because I'm not about to go into a whole Facebook terrain because that doesn't do anything. Yeah, just, yeah. Right. If anything, you're gonna just I'm gonna make myself sound like pitiful, like Trump. Listen, just do no. the best. Do the best you can do with what you got. No, and I feel and that's, just, and that's I, it, dude. I mean, I, our parents I, did the best. They did the no, best yeah, they yeah. could with us. And with I feel what good they just talking about it with you guys. And you I know, think like, I think we turned out. Hey, Chris, it is I think we turned out. I, uh, yeah, I you know what I'm saying? I mean, fuck, dude. Up. Yeah, it just, it is. The, you know the what? The one thing that I've always heard parents say is 
no matter what, you're never gonna be ready. You're never gonna you're never gonna do it right. Yeah. You're just gonna do it. And hope to God that that fucking person that came out of your wife is is a decent human being in about 20 years 18 years like that I, every parent that i've talked to says that nobody's like ready nobody's like i know exactly what the fuck i'm gonna do today this motherfucker is doing this tomorrow it's not gonna happen and no matter what you want like we like we, like the last time we spoke on on the podcast we were talking about fuck what what but your daughter she's gonna love disney and guess what you going to suck Disney's dick. Because, <laughs> guess hey, what? Uh, That's your baby. No, we, we didn't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, that just reminds me of the last fucking episode where we were talking about this girl not liking Disney and stuff. The fucking Niners lost. Yeah. What the fucking? The ni- remember we were saying last time? We were saying, we're like, <laughs> I couldn't Niners? handle my. Oh, adult, the Niners, yeah. She became the a Niners, Niner fan. The Niners winning the Super Bowl. You the just drink yourself. I'm like, yes. Hey, you just drink yourself. Now she will be a Niner <laughs> I fan. Did. I was so happy. I don't give a damn. <laughs> you know what? I was actually happy that they lost. <laughs> so you're losing that bet, sir, because you're like, you're, she's going to be a Niner fan. I was like, your girl's going to be a Disney fan. It is what it is. I'm just saying. And you know what? Uh, that doesn't mean that your your beliefs or your personal principles yeah. are are gone. It's just as a parent, I've seen it. You have to fold to shit that you you, will, you right now. You're like we're all saying we don't want this, we don't want that, we want to do we this. Have no we idea what's coming? Exactly. At the end of the day, my sisters, you think they 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 thought that their children are gonna have fucking tablets and this and that? No, I'm gonna walk them. Guess what? They all them motherfuckers got cell phones. All them motherfuckers got tablets. <laughs> Because guess what? It changes. It, 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 all, them all them motherfuckers. I swear to God. I'm a stupid motherfucker that's got them this half of this shit. But, but listen. No, yeah, I know. There's some listen, times where I'm like, yeah. It's, an it, ideal it changes. World, right? Your ideas world. at some point, no matter what, changes. Because you can't determine what it's. You just can't. You can't. And as much as you you want your yeah. daughter not to like of Disney, course. as much as you want your daughter not to be a Niner but, fan, but fucking, but the probability the thing, is that. Here's the thing. Yeah. At least, at least, I unfortunately, have, at least I have it in, in mind. And stuff because sure. There's a lot of people in this world that want, they do this. Oh, I can't wait to have my kids so I can give them everything I right. need to have. Right. Uh, yeah. I, mm-hmm. I, my yeah. parents didn't let me have a cell phone. I'm, I'm going to give, give them a cell phone. phone. They're fucking the Hey, I'm going to, yeah, every like, every time they need new shoes, I'm going to get them Jordans. Yeah. And uh, and you find yourself at pay less getting the bago treatment. <laughs> Buy one, get one for free. I swear to God. Dude. Because guess what? You start finding out. And again, as an uncle... You start finding out you got other bills to pay, and I can't buy that little son of a bitch Jordans every goddamn time. <laughs> you get it's so, it's, no, hold on, hold it's on. so funny when they have these for like little tiny babies. Dude, like, and, they and can only wear them like once or once twice. or twice because that motherfucker's foot is Dude, growing. Yeah. Even Air Jordans for little toddlers. If they're still like hundred bucks. bucks, and they're only gonna he's he or she's only gonna use them twice. And for what? But you know what? A lot of parents, if nope. they're that small, they save them. It's hey, that's eighty bucks, but yeah, it's only gonna work one saying. time. I could buy like ten packs of fucking Coronas <laughs> with that shit, and yeah, sure, I'll get through it one night. Yeah. But it's more fulfilling than seeing these little motherfucking Jordans for one time that he doesn't even walk in. Ain't that no, about no, a no, bitch? Not. He doesn't even know what the fuck is an Air Jordan. Yeah. Is he going telling all the that's babies? That's what I'm guess saying. What? My but guess what? Me Air but I'll tell you what. But Can you I, walk yet, Lalo? <laughs> Lalo, I'll tell you what. At can you some jump? point, can you jump? <laughs> at some point, you're probably gonna buy your daughter some Jordans. Nah, fuck that. I never got him. I, I don't see that happening on. Oh, it. you best believe. Happening. Oh, you yeah, best you fucking believe. I, I don't believe. know if I fuck that. Air Jordans, but hey, but you're gonna three, get three. either. Okay, okay, even better. You gonna get her some Louis Vuitton bags, some Gucci ass stupid oh, shit. I guarantee you, you yeah. will. You must not Be- know me. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, hey, three ladies. I'm gonna, of I'm gonna see you in about ten and about maybe. A year or two, and then your baby all Gucci the fuck out, and shit. I'll be like, "What happened, bro?" So, Why well, she turns into like this little famous YouTuber? <laughs> and shit. I'm like, hey, Sal, remember all that shit I talked? Fuck that! Yeah, so all this money, <laughs> all this fucking money. <laughs> and we're like, I like, like I I you know, like 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 Give them to him now. <laughs> what, like on Dave Chappelle? I'm rich, bitch. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's it yeah. again. My baby's an like Instagram <laughs> influencer. My baby's a star. My baby, <laughs> my baby reviews Pampers. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> The new fucking Pampers that is coming out. My baby wears them. Louis gave it to me. So in this review, we're doing fucking... You know, hey. I got. And, 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 it's, and it's the damnedest Velcro. thing. This one's got Velcro. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And it's the damnedest thing you say. You would never put your child on it. Never. 
Nah, you yeah. You never know. I, dude, it's, you, it's crazy. I, I, it, it I, truly is. I, that's all I'm saying. I'm like, at least we're thinking about this. Absolutely. No, absolutely. Because like I said, a lot of people are just like, I'm ready to give them everything. No, no, no. Fuck it. Tampoco. You know? I'm like, yeah. You, you can't, can't do that either. You know? Yeah, you can't. You really can't. I mean, at least try not to. Yeah. I Sometimes I feel like some parents that I've seen, it's easier for them to give them everything so that they don't have to so deal with So they can shut the, the yeah, fuck up and exactly, leave them alone. So they don't have to deal with the child. Sometimes you, you know what? Let that motherfucker cry. He ain't going to cry blood. Like, hey, yeah, shout out, hold on, hold on, yeah, shout okay. out, shout out to my boy Mike, uh, Red, one day I remember we were chilling at his house, right, and his, and he sent his son to, to sleep, and it was still, I guess, kind of early, but he, he had him down that, as soon as it was 8 o'clock, you're going to bed, I don't give a fuck, <laughs> cause it's daddy time, it's daddy and uncle Saulo's time, we gonna chill, Y'all ass is going to bed, right? I'm and in then the middle I, of dinner, Dad. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. It's eight o'clock. Get the fuck out to your room, right? <laughs> and I remember his his oldest son Johnny was like, oh, like he started crying because he didn't want to go to bed. He was because it was you know it's it eight o'clock, I guess, and I don't know. He just didn't want to go to bed. And Mike's like, I I Johnny, I don't care. <laughs> go to bed, right? And his son, you know, a little kid of maybe uh, eight nine years old, just stomping away. Oh, I hate you. You're a mean daddy. He's all, oh, yes, yes. I'm so evil. I only feed you. I only have a <laughs> roof over your head. I only have clothes on your back. And I watch your every goddamn move, make sure you don't die. But I'm a horrible dad. <laughs> and, then, and then the kid goes to his room. And Mike's like, I'm a horrible dad. <laughs> I don't get, like, I don't give a fuck. And 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 he gave that the, shit no power. It was like okay, yeah. exactly. No, he and, and that's, that's exactly what he said. He yeah. said, "Yeah, Johnny, I'm a horrible oh my dad." God, you know but how many very nonchalant, people? Michael's like, "Yeah, I guess I'm such a horrible dad. I I I got you a PS3 with a <laughs> 72 inch TV, and and I feed you, and I have a roof over your head. Yeah, I'm a bad dad. Go to room. Go to your, I, like he's like I don't give a fuck. Go to your fucking Dude. room. And go, you know. But you know how many fucking emotional ass people will fucking be like, oh, oh yeah, my God, oh yeah, I can't oh yeah." Call me. He said he hates me. Like I, I actually, don't give a I, fuck, dude. Honestly, there are times I think about now and stuff that I didn't. I didn't think about when I was a kid. Like I'm like I just thought, fuck, dude. Like, mm-hmm. I, like it just sucks, you know. Like you know. And like, it'd dude. be funny because and now <laughs> I look back at those things as an adult. as like that, right. That was a good <laughs> lesson. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah. Dude, on, on that topic. So you know how Mercury's being. You know he's he's being trained. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, Rich has told me so now start doing what I taught you out in front of all the dogs. Yeah, because that's your that's how you're gonna find out that he it's, that he listens. Yeah, so it's, it's been working about two exactly. weeks and I take it to the there park. I take the box and I, I you know I I, I your, train him. Yeah, yeah, the reps. The, yeah, yeah, the reps. And then after a while, I let him go play. Now the same people that I have always noticed that they're like always kind of like you know don't don't get near me like I could tell that they're always being cautious about Mercurio compared yeah. to their fucking this is, dogs. You said this is an all size. Yeah. Because some some device. no this part is all size. Okay. But I know that whenever Mercurio does something and I try to discipline him. Oh yeah. They look at me like. Like, now I'm doing something. I'm like, motherfucker, I'm doing this so you make sure you feel secure. Right, right. Yeah. Because but if I moment, don't, all of a sudden, I'm a bad Yeah, but dog the moment owner. I discipline, because yep. I taught him do the, to do the timeouts like you do. You know like, what it is, know, one? Because I and take the box, and when he does something that I don't, I don't think is right, I take him to the box, and he'll sit there, and I tell him, look at me. Focus, yeah, focus on me focus. for yeah, like yeah. five minutes. Yeah. And when he gets back, I could tell when people are like, hey, some of them saw like, you know, you can like, shh, 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 they start doing the right, whisper. Right, right. Motherfucker, I'm doing this to make sure that yeah. all of you, you feel know what safe it is? with my dog. You know oh, what it is? And Juan, hey, him. you know what it is? Yeah. And Juan, tell me, Juan, Juan, you're going to say amen to this. You're damned if you don't, and you're damned if you do. Hey, dude, yep. actually, that actually goes a little it's bit so further. true. What you were talking about earlier, I forgot how mm-hmm. the conversation started before we got on this other one. But I was going to tell you that, like, oh, when you were talking about the vaccination, like, it's like science and, like, what people are taking it, like, as fiction and stuff. Right. Because... It, and it goes back to the whole Mercurio thing because, dude, believe me, I, when I, dude, Chico can do, he he's a powerful, fast dog stuff, right? He fucking, but people see him and they think he's a puppy. Yeah. So when I do correct him and if it isn't, oh the my God. How I can you be so mean to that puppy? I might as well be beating a yeah. fucking <laughs> infant in front of people, dude. Like, fucking, dude, and best believe, get, people, less, people you know, feel more for the damn dogs than human bro, beings. I, and, and dude, and motherfucker knows how to milk it, dude. Ah! You know, like, I'm like, I didn't even touch you, dude. Like, 
Like, you know, I didn't even hit your e-collar or anything. Juan, oh, you, you, want, oh, you want me to hit you. Yeah. You really but, want me to hit you. But fucking you. people go emotional. Yeah, of course. Everybody today is emotional. Emotion rules everything. Yep. Even if it fucking doesn't fucking make sense right in front of you rationally, as long as it feels good. Well, you know, like, I, we go for the instant make me feel good story common sense good is everything. out the window nowadays and, and you know like and just like there that you go. just yeah. like no that common sense people anymore. that were it's a lost art are all on emotion but you know the irony of that you is that the them. fucking people are like oh don't correct them don't do this and oh, then when you don't me. when that fucking dog bites somebody yeah kill him yep kill him but yeah absolutely <laughs> that's exactly exactly yeah. yeah that's a perfect slice of society if you're talking about yeah. the dog yeah. art it is the cancel culture we live in right yeah. now yeah yeah we only have control of our personal sovereignty so you and your dog you have that autonomy for that but like the dog park everybody is just like what's on social media we're like like they sit there and they judge from afar and they can't wait till something happens and then they'll like excise you from the group oh yeah absolutely quickly. yeah so, absolutely like i you promise you they'd be right. the first to tell you to kill your dog if he fucking does like if he were to bite another dog or get in a fight okay yeah. be the but first you, ones oh that dog's bad again like hey Again, common sense. There is none nowadays. No, no, I've no. I've always said it. That's that. Uh, and go, and go it's figure. a lost art. Common sense is the figure. lost art nowadays. What we have man. in our pocket has it. is the world. All you need to do is look shit up. Whenever I've had questions about you know fucking like dog training and stuff, yeah, I have a training stuff. But also, I fucking I've looked up helpful topics for like behaviors and shit. How do different people deal with? Because I I've seen like a topic and like well I do it like this. And other trainers like, I do it like this. It's like, you got to pick and choose what works for you and stuff. But good for you for staying your fucking ground, dude. Like, fuah. fuck those people, dude. Just like yeah. in social but Because media. at the end of the day, you have a newborn that's coming in. Mm-hmm. And you need to make sure that that dog, without a shadow of a doubt, is is under your command. Because yeah. the last thing you need, God forbid, yeah. and and you know I'm not even religious. It's but that's the what I felt like saying at the moment. God forbid he, ha- he does something to your child, newborn. Yeah. And and because why? Because you couldn't discipline them in front of these fucking people that don't know what the fuck is happening. And in your believe life. me, fuck they that. Fucking no. Yeah. They f- oh uh, yeah. Well, well, Mercurio, Mercurio, fucking like I'm saying, dogs. They know what to get away with. Yeah. Too, so they know, if people don't let you correct me, they'll fucking. They'll, oh yeah. It's like it's like kids. You. Yeah. It's a child. Yeah, exactly. It's a child. It's exactly, a child. Dude. You yeah. think? Exactly. Listen, you guys saw my baby niece earlier. Yeah. She's the cutest thing in the world. I love her to death, but damn, does she not know how to get the fuck away with murder up in this bitch? <laughs> yeah. And and I'll tell you, she will. I've seen her walk up to my nephew or my niece, which are his uh, her brother and sister, and she'll just. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then of course the other ones retaliate like no, and they slap her in the hand or something, and she'll run off crying. Come to my mom, Juelita, me pegaron. And I sit there like this, con artist. We need to go to Vegas, motherfucker. <laughs> dude, I swear. Saw the throwing a flag on the plane. I saw monkey signs. Oh, hell no. I saw, dude, I threw, the, I threw, the, I threw, the, I threw about 10 yellow flags on that son bitch. I said, no, sir. <laughs> and, I, and I told her. And I, I told her. Sportsman like con. Dude. dude little girl. Face mask. <laughs> everything. Kick to the nuts. I mean, it's bad. But, but Five again. Five ass Repeat for but <laughs> again, I sit there and 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 watch this magnificent acting. Like that little that girl deserves is. an Oscar yeah. because she played it off, and she knows with my sister she might not be able to get away with it. But my mom, oh my God, she could she could kill a bird in her face and still somehow get away with it, like straight out. But that's children, and until you and 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 I now am. we understand she's she's not a baby; she's more a toddler. Yeah. So we know that she knows. Yeah, she knows better. She knows better now. So guess what? Now we start hitting her. Not hitting her physically, but no, no, no. Don't lie. Don't. You, pa que le pegaste? Right? We start We start you trying to, to make understand. that part out before the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people problem. will be like, oh, he, he beats, beats his kids. kids. Yeah, yeah. He I had to. Him. I heard <laughs> But what I mean by that is we, we come down on her and, and, tell, and, and try to educate her on the consequences of what you're doing, you might. This is probably what's gonna happen. You are gonna get your ass whipped back, so don't do it, right? And but again, anybody who comes out from the, comes from the inside, from I mean from the outside that doesn't know, sees that child, sees that beautiful smile. Oh, and I'm sitting there like, y'all don't Dude, know the damn devil the, you pet. The times that I that hey, y'all don't know the damn devil you holding on to right now. That you you know, and I love her to death. I would die for that little girl. Yeah. 
But she's a damn con artist. Oh Dude, my lord! The time, the time that 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 Chico's acted up, and there's been times where you know he's like, and he testing, knows, he knows the stuff. I he wish knows. I could fucking directly contact those people that have ever given me a look. And <laughs> you see this? You see? Yeah. You see this? Yeah. You know? But you know, it, it goes, it goes back to all that shit. Like the other day, and the same the in other the day, I, I let the dogs out, and at the end, at, at night before we go to bed, Ooh, I don't even, I didn't, I didn't put, out. I don't even put the fucking leashes on and stuff. Um, because the grass is like right there, right? You know? So we just and they well, listen enough. Yeah, and I go. That I you go, don't have to always have them, right? So I used to let Ruby kind of go wherever she wants. So she hits the corner where the other neighbor is, and that neighbor never's out there. Just so happens that his dog's out there, and his fucking dog goes right after fucking like him and Ruby start getting into it. And I had told you go to get in the fucking down right. So I'm like, you know, going over there to get Ruby and stuff, right? And this fool fucking just takes off and goes and tries to get in the fight. I got the E color and I was like, nope. And fucking, I happened to hit it right at the same time the other dog came. The other dog got Chico. He got it. He must have got it from both sides and ah. stuff because he was like, ah! <laughs> he came back, right? <laughs> he came back and he oh. ran inside the house. I'm like, there was no reason for you to go over there and get involved in a fight. Yeah. Yeah. So the next day I go to work and stuff and she, and she says he's looking him over. She's like, dude, he's, he, he got cut in the ear. I'm like, good. Good. <laughs> like, right. Maybe he'll fucking realize that if you fucking something right, bad happened, right. you didn't what you weren't supposed to do. You went over there and you got attacked. Hopefully, you don't want to do that again. Exactly. Good. See, exactly. That, fucking cut. This is like different. But you cuts. can't do that but because it obviously it wasn't a bad cut. It really, right, right. It really wasn't. It was like a little cut, but it was like for for what could have happened, he could have died. Hey, he and trust me, for a, for a dog, that cut is not it's, shit. It's already, it's already it gone. ain't it's shit. All the time. But, but this, he's walking he around the good. bushes, he's going to get those scratches. He got I mean, and fuck. he actually got lucky that it was kind of like just the tip of his Yeah, it isn't nothing to a dog. It but isn't see, shit. But this is the difference between, in my opinion, the difference between a good parent and a bad parent. A good parent would be like, that's what you get. I've told you so many times. If you... <laughs> And the bad thing, and the a bad parent Amen to that. a done deal with like, no, let's fucking sue that shit out of that person. Yeah. Let's have that dog yeah. euthanized. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're absolutely right. And again, and but if they see you at the park, at your house, correcting. disciplining, yeah. or, or perfect, correcting your dog, and they just don't like the way you're doing it, you're a bad yeah. owner or a bad parent. Never However you want to like, see it. But if your dog does something wrong... Well, you're a bad dog owner and a dog if, if bad I, parent. Like the, well, what like the, the fuck the do you one, want me to do? The one guy that yanked my dog oh, just because yeah. he was sniffing. You should have murdered that, that motherfucker. Just because he was sniffing. <laughs> I'm going to fuck. Hey. No, sir. See, that's when, it goes to the other, that's when it goes to the other extreme. My dog was sniffing the butt of another dog. And then this guy who was not even the owner of that dog grabs Merc Mercurio and just yanks him. Hey, and that's the most fucked up thing in the world. When you sniffing somebody's ass and somebody yanks you, <laughs> that's a bullshit. <laughs> what the fuck is you thinking? Let me sniff my ass, motherfucker. I mean, how dare you? I mean, I was sir, enjoying that fucking crustaceous right now, dude. I'll be like, sir, have you ever been to a bar? Yes. You were exactly doing the same <laughs> shit. Did somebody yank you out of the bar for yeah. being? No, no, sir. I would never yank you when you sniff Yo, somebody's yeah. ass. And you know what? A lot of the Fuck people, that. a lot of the people that look at you and may judge you, like you look at their dog's behavior and it's not great. Yeah. You know, but people just go. But they're well, nice to them. Well, I, I, I just don't want to do. You know, it's like what you're doing is teaching him how to live in this world. Yeah. Because he bites the wrong person, he can be killed. Like some, yeah, you're right. Some and he and the dog is not gonna dog. know kill any kill better him. because you haven't taught him better. Yeah, he fucking like you fucking the reason like he like my in my um fucking case you know he has a strong personality and he I don't know his past with his first owners and stuff right my the reason I probably have to fix behaviors is because like people like you that probably didn't correct yeah. behaviors when they were learning them. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So now I got to deal with this. And and it's and it's too. funny because most of those people that are like that they talk about their pets like they're family they're my children yeah. well it's i i hope to god that's not how you raising human children because god because forbid. that son of a bitch is gonna we bite are we are hey, because emotional. that son of a bitch is gonna turn into the silence of the lamb and bite some motherfuckers we face are. off because we're all emo we are because everybody now is just emotional no, they're gonna feels go to good. become president that's what's happening that's what's happening wow, fuck, don't <laughs> give them that goddamn much credit <laughs> shit take away I gotta go. Beat your kids. <laughs> <laughs> Beat the fuck out of them. Before, I like that. Till they become someone NFL had, superstars. So, someone had a bit like that. I forgot who it was, dude. I don't want to give a fucking credit, but yeah. Beat your kids. Beat your, Beat your Beat motherfucking your kids. kids. Like Kevin Hart? I don't know. Oh, no, 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 I don't no. think he said that. Beat I, your I, motherfucking I kids. Dude, Lalo, what do you think? What is your takeaway? 
Watch Pandemic. Uh, no. Pandemic. Pandemic. <laughs> Watch <laughs> Pendejo. Pendejo. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna cut that shit yeah, out right now. Pendejo. So well, my takeaway well, was pandemic. Well, let me tell you about this pendejo. Um, watch him. He's yeah. a fucking pendejo. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Lalo. Yeah. So, yeah. My takeaway is watch pandemic. There and it is. I feel a lot better now that I talk about this. Yeah. So that's what I needed. I needed my therapy session. Absolutely. Absolutely. One. Uh, my takeaway is I didn't know Chris was a anti-vaccinator <laughs> and flat earther. Bitch. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Yeah. Eat, well, eat I guess I, I guess right. I, eat I, eat I, hey, get I guess I have a new takeaway, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck, takeaway. You definitely, I think Chris is right. Beat the living shit out of your children. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe, and maybe, hold on, and maybe if you put them in a coma, they won't kill nobody. So please go out, idiots, and whip the shit out of your children. All right, okay. people. Uh, Catch you guys next time. Late. Later.